skipping into this part of the speech because Ed has no skeletons in his closet. <laughs> I actually found out there's only really two things that get underneath Ed's skin. That's two pages. Number one, people who disrespect other countries and their cultures. Number two, the Dutch. Some people have suggested that this whole thing is just a cunning ploy to hide Ed's real sexuality. <laughs> I don't buy into that. At an early age, Ed was always out to impress the girls with his pranks. What? <laughs> That's a typo! That's it, <laughs> Off note to his legendary driving stunts. He had a magnet of a car. Fiat 126. <laughs> now I don't know if you get these in the US, but they're tiny cars. They're like a mini, but smaller. And this was like in beige, so it was extra special. <laughs> His stunt was to drive this car up a near vertical bank, two wheels on the road, two wheels on the bank, with his head out of the sunroof. <laughs> Ed's car antics continued when he bought a uh, VW Golf of one of the groomsmen, Dan. <laughs> it had one careful owner previously. <laughs> then within a month, Ed rolled it. <laughs> Not content with the injury and expense from this time, he then took a trip to Bath in it and got it stolen. And it was used in a ram raid. <laughs> Needless to say, when he asked for compensation of them, all he got was laughter. Hey! Now, I've got a couple of anecdotes about Ed's time in Australia. Um, one of them involving um, a cricket match. Oh, crazy Indeed. Ed, I think today you're going to be uh, bestowed with lots of gifts and lots of kind words, and I think you have the greatest gift a man could ever want. Beautiful and caring life. The wife, we love you very much. Yeah. Having said all that, I'd like everyone to hold their glasses up high and join me.